Megan Jane, one of the newest designers of HGTV's Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Regan, I love this show. It's a makeover classic that's been rebooted earlier this year, so tell us What's your design style and what was your favorite makeover of the show so far this year? It was really hard to have a favorite because each story is so emotional and personal. Um, and I would say that my design style I always creep in with the mom tips and the family environment. Well, a lot of us are spending way more time at home right now, so redecorating and fixing up the house has been all of our thing to do. So what's been the go-to summer makeover that you've seen a lot of people be pulling off at home? I think every parent right now is getting ready for this back to school moment. And we're seeing that people are preparing for both traditional and non-traditional learning environments. So we are seeing a lot of purchases in the uh, furnishing space and bookshelves and, and people are really caring about that environment at home and their dollars are showing it. PayPal actually did a recent study of K through 12 students as well as college students. And what we're seeing is people are spending more money preparing for both scenarios. And I mean, you've got two boys, so I imagine your hands are completely full. So when you're not designing, you're busy looking after them. And you were just mentioning, obviously everyone's getting ready to go back to school. So what would be your advice for other parents that are in the same position? I think empowering your kids to be excited about their learning is an easy mm -hmm. trick in sort of transforming your space. So for me with little boys, I brought everything down to a lower level. All the books, baskets on the floors, so they can take ownership of their tactile learning experiences and really just putting those creative markers and everything where they can reach them and sort of empower themselves. You know, we want flexibility too. I think as a mom and everyone right now is trying to stretch their dollar to the max. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really uncertain times right now, COVID-19. So what's interesting in this PayPal study is that we're also seeing credit cards, of course, are a preferred payment, but people are leaning into these like PayPal credit options where you can buy now and pay later. Yeah, things that before, obviously before COVID, we would never have even thought we'd have needed to make a homeschool environment if that wasn't your learning choice for your child anyway. So it's incredible. And I thank you for so much for our viewers and um, for their advice for them, for the other mums out there. It's really kind. Thank you so much, Bregan.